Well, someone who's got a bit of fight, newly elected uh, senator, he's come in on a vacancy, Greg Mirabella, Victorian senator, ex-farmer, mm. husband of Sophie Mirabella that people will remember. He went pretty hard last night in his maiden speech about Simon Holmes Accord and this uh, Voices movement of climate independence. Have a listen. I want to make a comment about the Voices candidates set to contest the federal election. They are all contesting only against coalition members. The notion that any of them would support the coalition is absurd. They are therefore the voices for Labor. I tell you what, Caleb, this is where we need some fight, isn't it? Indeed. Well, perhaps if there's ever anyone who should have been exposed to uh, an inheritance tax, it was Simon Holmes at court, because, of course, what he's trying to do uh, is use his own money to buy some power in the political scene when it comes to renewable energy because he is invested in it. He stands to gain from it. I mean, it's pretty clear what he is trying to do. And if we've got someone like Greg Mirabella who's willing to stand up to it, which the government so far really hasn't done much of, let's have more of it. Just a quick comment, Gideon. I have to go early tonight. But, I mean, why isn't there a disclosure from all of these uh, people on the climate bandwagon when they're out there spruiking in the media? Why don't they have to disclose their ownership of X and Y shares? Well, the Commonwealth Electoral Act is its own beast. But all I'll say, look, it's good for the, good on them for taking the fight up to these voices of people. But I really wish they could say this is bad because it'll cost jobs. It'll cost higher energy prices. It'll be bad for uh, the, the economy. Uh, all they can rely on is this ad, ad hominem, hominem stuff about uh, Porsches and trust funds. Uh, it's hard to argue against this stuff when they have, again, I make the point, implemented a policy that is strikingly similar to what these people want. Uh, really and truly, we need to get back to the issues here. All right, well, we will next week. 